previously on Up All Night with Kurt Magnum. This is Magnum, what's your deal? Kurt Magnum, this is Murray. I'll make this quick and easy. Say I give you a chance to make your show. Can you fly out tomorrow? Welcome to LA, Kurt. It's a whole different world out here. Oh, what the fuck? Granny's gonna have to cut a bitch. I'm Betty. Hey. I'm your new assistant. Onward to Murray's house. I called him several times and I even left voicemails. It's almost like he's trying to avoid you. That's so Murray. He's such a deadbeat. Is Murray home? Good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I am Kurt Magnum, your esteemed host here at Up All Night with Kurt Magnum. Now, some of you may not know, I actually hosted a show on the East Coast, but I finally decided to move to the West Coast because, well, let's face it, that's really how I'm going to be famous here. <laughs> um, but I got to say, there are a lot of weird things here on the West Coast. Uh, weather, for one, um, you don't have any for most of the year. Uh, there are earthquakes, fires, mudslides, and that's not even the most dangerous part of this town. It's the people. And I've really kind of found that out through trying to put this show together. And trust me, it's, it's been a pain. So let's, let's take a minute. Let me tell you a little bit about my first week here in LA. It, uh, it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> I never know what to say. Just relax and be yourself. What is it with lines in this town? I gotta wait in line for a hot dog and now a funeral? Betty, my second thing I'm gonna do in LA, abolish lines. Write that one down. All right. Abolish lines. I got it. Hey, Linda. Question, did Murray ever mention anything about Kurt Magnum TV deal? Did he ever say anything about that to you? What? Who are you? What? Um, Kurt Magnum, uh, late night talk show host. Uh, I'm sure Murray's talked about me. He's been, my, he's been my agent for like years. Oh, yeah. This one shows his good side. <sighs> no, he never mentioned you. Oh, well, you can uh, keep that. It's, it's autographed. So, like I was saying, uh, he never mentioned anything about a TV deal, a web TV deal? For the last time, no. Okay, other question. Did he ever mention anything about $400 he owed me? I paid for my airfare out here, and <laughs> LA's a little bit more expensive than I ever really could have imagined. <laughs> Murray never said anything about any contract deals or any shitty TV deals either. Where is your $400? He, he left everything to that goddamn whore. So, do we talk to her about the $400? Do we bring you in, like a conference? How, how, we, how do we work this out? Asshole. I have something in your face. Oh, yes. Yeah, you just... Uh, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just... Yeah, 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, that is cold. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Uh, Mr. Magnum, I'm a huge fan. Can I talk to you for a second? Um, who are you? Oh, uh, Mac Hartley. I'm Murray's protege. Uh, pardon me, Beau Francais? <laughs> I'm Murray's partner, and, and now that he's met his untimely demise, I'd like to be your agent. Uh, can we talk in my office? Um, I, yeah, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do that. So this is your office? Yeah, it's a little run down, but it does the job. Did you know I let go of my client today? Client? As, as in singular? Yeah, just for you. I want you to be my sole focus. Yeah, why is that? Kurt, I'm not going to lie to you. You could be huge. You could be the most famous... What is it you do? Talk show host. You'll be the best. You'll be better than Chevy Chase, uh, Magic Johnson, Tom Snyder combined. So, what's your goal? Obviously, it's to win the Streamy Award for Best Internet Talk Show Host. <laughs> I do that from time to time. Oh. oh, well, perfect. I think we're just missing one thing to make that happen. What one thing? Talent. But we can fake that. How do you fake talent? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm here in Hollywood at the Rossi Snyder Theater Labs to take some acting classes. Honestly, I don't think I need them, but let's give it a shot. Steven. Oh, hey, Hello, hey, hey, hey. Kurt nice Magnum, to, nice to meet you. Nice, like Magnum, like P.I. Yes, we're the 44. So, I'm new in L.A. here. I'm trying to get my show big, and some people, whether or not their intentions are valid, think I should take some acting classes. So I thought, why not talk to an acting teacher, sure. a master of the craft. Oh, wow. Well to give me a little guidance here. Okay. So let's, let, let's, let's get some background on you. Is there a early role early on in your life that you took in acting and you're like, this, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? I played a dead body once. Didn't have any lines though. I'm, but I'm, I didn't need to because I was acting. And that propelled me into teaching because I thought, if you, you know, it's easy to talk. Right. Play a dead guy, that's not easy. Well, you know, Kevin Costner came to me. He did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do tell. He had to play a dead body. Came to the master. That was you. Taught him how not to breathe. He was breathing too much. He go, Kev, stop breathing. I'm breathing now. So every night, I'm on stage. Let's say thousands of people show up to my right. show. Right. I'm interviewing. I'm entertaining. Kibitzing. Yeah, exactly. I, everything. I, I'm the whole, I'm the total package. Now, I need a new way to prep. Because I kind of get a little, as great as I have been, mm -hmm. I get a little frazzled before I go out. What would you say is a good thing I should work on or maybe a mental trick I can mm -hmm. practice before mm -hmm. going out on the stage so I can own it even more? Mm -hmm. Well, you build the, uh, the suspense. Okay. And you build the moments. And then right when you're at that moment to enter the theater, go the opposite way. Don't go. Don't show up. Go home. <laughs> Don't show up. Wow. You'll kill them. Wow. They'll love that. It'll just be your chair and the desk and no magnum. Well, I want to ask you a question. I've brought a prepared monologue. Get out. I have. Whoa. I have. Didn't see that coming. I know. It's weird, right? Uh, it's from the uh, film American Psycho. Two? Uh, no, one. Uh, yeah. Two is a gem. In my scene, I've also okay. added my... I, I went deep with my character, okay. and I added my own little spin on it. All so right. I'm really, I'm, I'm going to help you enjoy it. Bro, Howard, it's Bateman, Pat Bateman. Uh, you're my lawyer, so I thought you should know I killed a lot of people. It's crazy, right? 
Right, skip this. It's boring, boring, boring. Oh yeah, uh, there was someone else there. I can't remember. Maybe a model or something. Uh, but she's dead too. And uh, oh yeah, uh, Paul Allen. His body is dissolving in a bathtub in Hell's Kitchen, bro. Believe me when I say it stinks. Um, but you know, bro, I just, I just had to kill a lot of people. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get away with it this time, bro. All in all, I guess, uh, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. Um, but you know what? Uh, when you get back tomorrow, I'll meet you at Harry's bar. So uh, I don't know, bro. Hit me up. Keep your eyes up, and I'll be there. Peace. What'd you think? Thinking one would need to frequent a bowling alley to see acting at this level. Thank you. I appreciate that. Stephen, you wait are. Minute. Wait a minute. What is that? Did you smell it? No. Oh my god, something stinks. Is that. Oh my god, it was your monologue! That's what smelled. I'm gonna act now like my pride isn't hurt. Hollywood. Oh, what a town. In one week, I was run over by a walker, I saw my dead agent, met my new agent, was slapped in the face by the wife of my dead agent, and here I am, alive and well, and you're all gonna make me famous. Good night, everybody.